let us consider light a light ray is traveling from a to glass this way the a will consider area of light say p and here the point is o so o is the point of incidence and the boundary of air and glass okay now instead of going straight like this it will bend and travel okay say q now what's happening is po is the incident ray oq is we'll call it as refracted ray okay o is the point of incidence now if i draw a normal n o n dash is the normal to the boundary between air and glass okay so the angle between p o and o n this angle here this we will call it as angle of incidence whereas the angle between n dash o q here this angle will call it as angle of refraction unlike in the reflection we have here angle of refraction okay now when the light ray is going from rarer medium to denser medium it is bending towards the normal which implies that the angle of refraction is less than the angle of incidence now instead of going straight like this along this path it is bending and traveling so we can say the light ray is deviating from its path by how much so to know that we will measure this angle the angle between the direction of the original incident ray and the refracted ray okay so we'll call this as angle of deviation denoted by d right now let us assume that the velocity of light in this medium here is c c is the velocity of light in air and let us say vg is the velocity of light in glass okay so first law of refraction tells that whenever a light ray is traveling from a denser is a rarer medium to a denser medium it bends towards the normal unlike this if we take the other way around that when whenever a light ray is traveling from say glass into air this is another situation where now p and o here this is the incident ray and it is traveling in glass o is the point of incidence so here i draw a normal n o n dash now instead of going straight like this it will bend and travel okay so in this case because it is going from a denser medium to a rarer medium it will bend away from the normal let us say this is q oq is the refracted ray po is the incident ray the angle between the incident ray and the normal at the point of incidence is the angle of incidence similarly the angle between the refracted ray and the normal at the point of incidence this angle here it is angle of refraction now if at all it is going straight it will go along this path but it is getting deviated from the original path so this angle here is the angle of deviation now whenever a light ray is traveling from denser medium to a rarer medium it is bending away from the normal and in the other ways where it is traveling from a rarer medium to a denser medium it is traveling it is bending towards the normal these two are the laws of reflection sorry refraction and the other thing is like the incident ray the refracted ray and the normal at the point of incidence all will lie in the same plane now every time it is not possible for us 
to find out how much it bends whenever a light ray is traveling from one medium to the other medium. It is not possible for us to measure the speeds. Okay. So, the reason behind bending is very clear. It is because of the difference in the speed. The speed of light in a denser medium is less compared to that in a rarer medium. Okay. In air or vacuum, you will take the speed of light as c is equal to 3 into 10 power 8 meters per second. But whereas in water or glass in any other medium, it is lesser. Now, one more point what we need to consider is, okay, here when I am having this angle of incidence, I am having a refraction angle less than that of the incidence. Even if I increase the angle of incidence in this case where the light is going from rarer medium to denser medium, always it is possible that the angle of refraction is less than the angle of incidence by how much, how, in what way both are related. To know that, we will do a small activity. 